Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Ethereum, and we're gonna be looking at its performance against the US dollar and against Bitcoin, based on whether Bitcoin is above or below its 20 week moving average. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So this is the price of Ethereum since inception, and it's had one hell of a run for sure over the last several years but one of the things we like to do is dissect the information try to understand what in the hell is going on well one thing we can do is we know that bitcoin more or less controls the market and, and what i mean by that is when bitcoin is above the 20 week moving average ethereum tends to do quite well when it's below the 20 week ethereum not so much right it doesn't do so well the last time i showed you this chart this is what it looked like Okay, we had just entered 2021. This is what it looked like. And you can see in red, that's when Bitcoin was above the 20 week. Okay, so if Bitcoin's above the 20 week, Ethereum's price is color coded red. When Bitcoin's below the 20 week, Ethereum's price is color coded blue. What does it show? When Bitcoin's below the 20 week, Ethereum doesn't do well. Bitcoin's above it, does quite well. And you can see that going into 2021, we were still doing really, really well. Let's update it. What happened as we went through the next several months of 2021? We continued to climb. Then Bitcoin went below the 20 week and then Ethereum finally had this major low in the market. What's interesting though is Bitcoin had other corrections before that. You know, it had 30, 32, 33% corrections or so. And Ethereum kept on moving. And Bitcoin's local top was a full month or so before Ethereum's, and it did not stop Ethereum from continuing to rally until, what? Until Bitcoin broke the 20 week. And that's when Ethereum came back down. Right now, Bitcoin's back above the 20 week, and you can see that Ethereum is once again doing somewhat okay. Of course, we do know that there can be phases where Bitcoin's above the 20 week, where Ethereum just is in a long reaccumulation zone. It happened here in 2016. It also happened in 2017, which is, I mean, it's nice that it didn't, you know, say drop 90% or something like this. Okay, so if Bitcoin were to go through a period where it's below the 20 week for a year straight, then of course that would likely cause Ethereum to dump as well. But as long as Bitcoin is either above the 20 week or you know coming back and forth between it, Ethereum should hold up, right? Here's a good example of Bitcoin going above and below the 20 week and the price of Ethereum more or less remained constant. It was when Bitcoin stayed below the 20 week for about a year, that's what caused Ethereum's price to just bleed relentlessly, okay? So Ethereum does well when Bitcoin's above the 20 week. Once the 20 week is, is, is um, once Bitcoin drops below the 20 week, all confidence in Ethereum's short-term price movements is lost. It, it drops down with Bitcoin. Bitcoin gets back above it. Doesn't look so bad, okay? Now, if you look at the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation, it tells a very similar but slightly different story. When, if, when Bitcoin's above the 20 week, the Ether Bitcoin valuation is generally in an uptrend, even if at periods there are local downtrends. But generally speaking, it's in an uptrend. Then when Bitcoin breaks it, it goes into a downtrend, okay? Now, there was one time where Bitcoin was above the 20 week and Ethereum remained in a downtrend against Bitcoin the entire time. And that was in 2019, okay? So you need to be on the lookout for these types of moves because what is that type of a move? It's the type of a move where Bitcoin's above the 20 week and it's just going straight up. It's not really testing anything. It's not testing the 20 week moving average. It's not giving people time to do anything other than just watch Bitcoin go up and then everyone FOMOs into Bitcoin. We had a similar period um, you know, over here, the end of 2020, Ethereum was just going down against Bitcoin. But then Bitcoin finally calmed down a little bit and it gave Ethereum the room to run against Bitcoin. And this is the speculation is that Ethereum should gain on Bitcoin over this entire market cycle, but there's gonna be a roller coaster and there's going to be a lot of ups and downs along the way. So I hopefully, I, I, I thought that you guys might appreciate seeing this chart again. Again, when, when Ethereum is, doing well against Bitcoin, it generally means that Bitcoin is above the 20 week. When Bitcoin's below the 20 week, what do you notice? Ether Bitcoin's valuation bleeds, okay? So Ether Bitcoin bled here, it bled here, and here, here, it more or less remained somewhat the same, and then here it bled as well. So when Bitcoin's below the 20 week, what do we know? Ether Bitcoin bleeds. When Bitcoin's above the 20 week, Ether USD tends to always go up. Ether Bitcoin 
generally goes up, but if the move is very, very short, then Ether Bitcoin can bleed like we saw over here. And then also it bled over here for a while, but fortunately Bitcoin was able to hold the 20 weeks for several more months, giving Ethereum the room to stretch its legs and to go on its own run. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the premium list. You can find a link to that in the description below into the cryptoverse.com. Thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, click the bell icon to turn on notifications, and I will see you next time. Bye.